Today, I'm gonna to share with you what it's like to live life without a smartphone. I bet almost everyone in the world would say, I'm busy, life is hectic, things are crazy, it's hard for me to manage everything I have to do. Here's the truth. We'd rather believe that life is out of control than to actually have to take control and do something about it. That's what I did in my life. After many years of struggling with comparison and burnout and anxiety, I'd reached the end of my creativity as an artist and a photographer. I had nothing else to give and that's what led me to delete social media for over two years. And the next step after that, the progression that led me to this crazy place of actually getting rid of my smartphone. For me, it was just the next step. It was the natural progression. What do I do next? Like I deleted social media. I took this big step in my life, but the phone really seemed to be the last stronghold in my life. You know, here's what I learned about leaving social media is that the less time I spent on social media, the less time I spent on my phone. I realized how much of our life runs through these devices. I banked with it. I booked flights with it. I checked into flights with it. I use my GPS as I'm driving around with it. I would shop, FaceTime, text friends, and all other types of human connection happen through this iPhone. I would find myself standing on a street corner. I would find myself printing out my flight and ticket information. And it was just a real pain, to be honest. If anything, it showed me how people used to live and how good we have it because of smartphones. And I wanna start there by saying, I'm not a technology hater. I love innovation. I think it's beautiful and incredible how we get to live our life now with such ease. But the truth is, is sometimes these devices do more harm than good. The first thing was that my consumer habits have completely changed. It started when I deleted social media. I no longer saw ads all the time. And here we are with no phone. And so not only do I not see ads anymore, but it's not as convenient for me to get on Amazon or other websites and purchase things through my phone or through apps. My memory improved so much even in the first week of deleting my phone. There was just less going in. There was less to process, less to think through, less to remember. It also improved my focus. When I was at work, I wasn't as tempted to grab my phone. It's easier to stay on task Number one, when your phone's not with you, but even if it's with you, it's not a smartphone. I realized that in conversation, I was so attentive. I was like glued in with whoever was talking and whatever they were saying, I was paying close attention and many people even noticed that. The other part of that that's really difficult is that when everyone gets on their phone in a social setting, you don't really have anything to do. You're gonna like stare off the rooftop or look out the window or maybe grab a magazine or just stare at these people that are staring at their devices, which is a whole nother experience. I realized that when I got rid of my smartphone, I started to feel things differently. I would listen to a song and I would go, that's really moving. Or I would read a book or specifically I would watch a movie. I remember the first time, like two or three weeks into this experiment, I'm crying, I'm laughing, I'm feeling every emotion of this movie and I realized, this is the first time I've watched a movie where at some point during it, I didn't check my phone. Those emotions were not broken up. I felt everything in this movie. One thing that you realize if you take steps back from your social media and your phone is that you'll pick up something else in its place. You're not just gonna sit there and stare at the wall. For me, I picked up reading. I bet my first 20 years of life, I barely even read one book a year unless it was for school. And I bet I've read over 25 books since getting rid of social media and my smartphone. Picking up something like reading is a restful experience. Scrolling your phone is not restful. It might be mindless and it might help you veg out, but it is not restful. If you wanna take this challenge, you can literally use anything that will take calls and text. There are some newer and up and coming trendy phones like the Light Phone and many others that actually make life without a smartphone look trendy. Let me just go ahead and tell you, I tried one of those companies. Those are great innovative products, but it is a pain to actually try to live without a smartphone in 2021. It is an actual struggle, no matter how cool and trendy it looks. These devices that seem to be more minimal and simpler actually sometimes make life more difficult. I bet that there were over a hundred times where I went to do something that I'd always done, whether it was to listen to music as I went for a run, put on a podcast as I was driving, go to pay at Target, like 
There was probably over a hundred times where I went to do something and I realized I can no longer do this thing. It's difficult when you can no longer do the thing that was simple. You have to try to work around it. And that's why, in my opinion, it's just not realistic to live without a smartphone. So you have to learn to live with it. You have to learn to live with this thing that if it takes over you, it can come and take everything. It can take your joy. It can take your peace. It can take your patience and your kindness. It can take everything away from your originality and your uniqueness the more time you spend on it. Phones and social media and all of these other things are incredible devices, but a phone has a different use depending on whose hands it's in. To someone who's a thief or a troublemaker, a phone can be a really terrible thing. At the same time, to a nonprofit or someone who's doing good in the world, a phone can be a tremendous tool to use. And so my challenge to you is, is when you hold that phone in your hand, is it enhancing your life? Are you able to put it down when it's time to take a break? Are you able to put it down when you picked it up and you thought it was gonna give you rest, but it actually doesn't? When you go to say, man, I do wanna go for that run, or I do wanna go for that walk, but maybe I'll just leave my phone in the car, or I'm gonna go be with my friends at this restaurant and they're gonna have their phone, so I could just leave mine in the car. Like, having those moments where you can live and experience life and you can feel those emotions like I talked about. Like, if you're going to watch a movie in your house or even going to the movies with someone, put your phone down, put it in the bag. And the most beautiful, beautiful thing that you could possibly do is to hold down that button and just turn it off. Life is going to pass you by if you live your life in this phone through this device. But here's the scary thing. We're more afraid of life passing us by if our phone isn't on. We're more afraid of missing something through the phone without actually realizing everything that we're missing in life. I would argue that whatever you miss when you turn off this device would have never satisfied you as much as the things that you're gonna experience because you turned it off, because you said, I'm putting this away. These are powerful things. These are, pow these are powerful devices. They can tell us how to vote, what to buy, how to think, what to do. They play off your deepest needs and desires in life. They're so powerful. These companies have figured out how we think and what we do and what we want. They're powerful until we turn them off. They're powerful until we put them down. It's one of the few things in life that could have so much control over us, can be overbearing and, oh my gosh, these things move so quickly until we put them down and they have nothing. They have no control, no power, no pull over the way I think or live, no pull over the way I raise my kids or love my friends or experience life. You have to learn to live with this device. Unless you're gonna be a monk or someone living up in the woods or you're never gonna Uber again, you have to learn to live with this device. Here's the beauty, you don't have to live without a smartphone because I've already done it. You will get the same positive effects of my experiment if you simply put down your phone. You don't have to throw your iPhone in the trash. You don't have to try to live like me for a few months where I was extremely frustrated. You can take my word for it. These things are so good. They're so useful. They do so much for us, but they also take so much from us. They take our joy. They take our moments. They take our memories and our focus. And I just think it's time as a culture that we reclaim what's ours and that's our life. We reclaim our joy and our peace and our patience and our contentment. I know that this video about getting rid of your smartphone may not have had the biggest, most life-changing thoughts in it, but here's the truth. So much can be gained by spending less time on our phone. And as difficult as it was, it could be done. You could live without it. You'd have to work around a lot of stuff, but it could be done. So if, if someone could live without it, that means we can take moments without it. We can put this thing down for a few moments and say, you know what? It's a great device, it's a great tool, but I don't want it to rule my life anymore. I refuse to let it set the pace of my life. I refuse to let it tell me if I'm gonna be happy today or not. You've gotta look within, You've gotta take those deep breaths and say, I'm not living like this anymore. You know, you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. 
take some pockets of alone time. Take some moments where you know what? It's okay to be alone. Being alone isn't a bad thing. Put this thing down and some beautiful things are gonna come from it. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you wanna see more content on faith, creativity, and entrepreneurship, just subscribe below. You'll see the videos, the podcasts, right when they come out, as soon as they're uploaded. So be sure to hit the subscribe button. You can also comment on all these videos. I read all of the comments. I love to see the conversation happening. I reply when I can. I'm just so thankful that each of you guys are here and we're building this community together.